Kia ora, fellow pilgrims of the Lent season. As we resume our journey through the vibrant narrative woven in the Gospel of Luke, we arrive today at chapter 18, verses 35 to 43. Now, here we find a moment brimming with urgent desire for healing and a profound encounter with the transformative presence of Jesus. So picture this, a blind man perched by the roadside and his voice slicing through the bustling crowd as he pleads for mercy. And despite the hushing murmurs that are urging him to silence, he refuses to be subdued, his cries crescendoing into a fervent plea. This blind soul, though himself only seeing sight of darkness, possesses an inner vision that pierces through the veil of sightlessness, recognizing Jesus as the son of David the long-awaited Messiah. Now in a moment charged with divine compassion, Jesus halts his procession, commanding that the man be ushered into his presence. And with a tender yet probing inquiry, Jesus poses a question that reverberates through the ages. He says, what do you want me to do for you? Isn't it striking? Jesus, fully aware of the man's ailment, invites him to articulate his deepest longing, beckoning forth an expression of unwavering faith. And in a heartbeat, devoid of hesitation or doubt, the blind man's response reverberates with, with raw sincerity. Lord, I want to see. Today, let this passage serve as a luminous beacon illuminating our path of faith. For in Jesus' tender question, we discover an invitation echoing through eternity, an invitation to ourselves to lay bare our needs, our aspirations and dreams before the throne of grace. You know, maybe today you need to vocalize a need amongst the noise. So embrace the example set by the blind man. Embrace the audacity of faith, the tenacity of prayer, and the courage to boldly articulate your heart's desires before the King of Kings. Let us pause in the stillness of this moment to ponder our own lives and to lift our petitions to Jesus, knowing that in Him, our deepest yearnings find their fulfillment. So, blessings to you as we keep tracking towards Easter.